Hey guys, so Ivan here with GuitarMessenger.com. We're at NAMM 2014 at the VGA booth, and uh, DJ is going to tell us about the latest stuff going on at VGA. So uh, what I got here is our newest model. It's the uh, newest addition to the Excalibur line. It's the Excalibur Ultra AP, and AP stands for Active Passive. Um, if you know about VGA's Excalibur line, the Ultra traditionally has a hum single hum configuration with EMGs, uh, and the Ultra Blues has hum single single with DiMarzio pickups. This year we want to do something a little bit different. And Patrice actually uh, designed a proprietary uh, active passive switch, uh, which provides completely transparent boost. Battery lasts for 10,000 hours of playtime, and uh, you can adjust how much, exactly how much boost you get. And it's really cool because it's, it's super transparent. So if you, you can kind of use it as a like a switchable volume control, rather than you know trying to rely on your volume pedal or something like that. So you can put a floor on it or a ceiling on it for you know switching between tones if you only have one sure, yeah. or, or whatever. Tell me a little bit more about the 1090 system, because I know that's a big deal with VGA. It really yeah. makes you guys stand out. It's arguably the biggest deal with us. We've been doing it since uh, 1988, and basically what it means is that all of our necks are 10% carbon and 90% maple. So the carbon, which you might be able to see, goes all the way through to the board. And in the case of the uh, maple boarded instruments, there actually isn't a board. It's all one piece of wood. It makes the neck completely stiff and rigid. We've been doing it, you know, like I said, for almost 25 years at this point and uh, uh no, no no over 25 years 26 so and it completely uh, negates the need for a truss rod never bends never moves never twists nothing humidity heat cold whatever uh the finish is going to fail before the before the neck we got our vga 2011 trim which features um, needle bearings instead of knife edges so it's super smooth action and uh, it comes right back to zero every single time when you're changing your strings or whatever you don't have to worry about the bridge shifting on the post it doesn't wear out it's just it's just the best uh, and in combination with our teflon nut zero fret and flex retainer system i mean we do make a floyd uh, but you can dive bomb you can do pull-ups you can do whatever you want on this and it almost always comes back to zero there's almost no friction on these strings I know you guys introduced a couple of new colors this year. Yeah, we also did some colors. Um, right over here, if you want to go check it out. So right here, we got an Excalibur Custom in a new color called Mysterious Blue. Uh, we're doing Mysterious Blue and Mysterious Green, uh, which will replace Emerald Green in our lineup. It's just a new color. We're doing a light burst around the edge, which I think makes the maple pop a little bit more. So over here, we got Normandy Blue on uh, an Expert. Basically, uh, this replaced, uh, we had a couple of retro finishes that had like a light metal flake in them, but uh, we decided to do something a little bit more retro, uh, kind of like a powder blue. This is Normandy blue, we also do Normandy red, which is kind of like a muted, uh, yeah, it's like a muted red. It's, it's a really nice, classy color. Um, we named them to commemorate, uh, you know, Storming Normandy. And we got two, no, uh, two different models over here. We got a limited edition Supra, which I'll show you, and the Excalibur 13, which is pretty cool too. Cool. Let's, so, go, let's go take a look. Take a look. Yeah. <laughs> Up top here, we got the Excalibur 13, which we introduced last year as a, uh, as a limited edition model, but it uh, proved to be kind of popular, so we decided to expand it for some new colors. Last year, it came uh, only in a finish called Volcano Red, which was kind of like a red crackle metallic kind of thing um, and this year we are doing it in this color which is black knight and we have a new gold called uh, monarchy gold and the 13 is a pretty cool instrument um, same features as all the other excaliburs 1090 neck vigier trem uh, but we use amber pickups in these uh, these amber humbuckers which uh, they share with the gv line uh, which are absolutely gorgeous uh, they split really nice you can do super high gain stuff you could do you know uh, the single coils sound like legit single coils so then these also feature a little momentary kill switch which is kind of fun you can get oh, yeah. your tom morello on yeah yeah cool so and down here we got a limited edition supra supra is kind of like the bread and butter of the line it has all the features of of the rest of the excalibur line but it's kind of like just cut back it's just older body hum single hum uh and this year we decided to do it in a matte black limited edition with a ma matching matte black pick card it's uh, kind of our jack of all trades instrument it does a little bit of everything it does everything everything well yeah i love the love the new color the matte the matte black looks really cool on this yeah it's really sharp yeah so especially with the maple board it looks so good this is one of my favorites from vj it's the one that got yeah. me into it so well, yeah this is the gv rock um which is almost identical to the gv wood the only real difference is the, the fretboard uh, it features the same amber pickups that are on the 13. So uh, with the five-way switch, you get nice splits, uh, super clean cleans. You get nice, you know, high output when you need it to. Um, 
GV Wood's pretty cool because it's, it's pretty non-traditional for a single cutaway instrument. The first thing you'll notice is that it's a bolt-on like the rest of our lineup. Um, I think there's a misconception that like uh, bolt-on or neck through or set neck or something like that, one is better than the other, but really they're just different, different ways of, of attaining you know, your, your goal. And with the 1090 neck system, the sustain is so outrageous. And with the, the wood, because we air dry all of our wood three years before it even gets cut, uh, then it ends up getting uh, joined, and we let the glue dry for another year, uh, you know, for the body end or the top. And uh, at this point, we have such a huge stockpile of stuff that by the time the instruments get turned into this, uh, usually they're sitting about s between five and seven years. So, and it's all air dried. We don't do kiln drying at all. And for sustain and tonal reasons, it's it's out of this world. So when you combine super duper dry wood with a super stable neck and um, and you know all of our proprietary hardware, the sustain is out of control. So it's everything that you would expect for, from a single cutaway guitar. Uh, the other thing that's kind of odd is that we do with an alder body, where traditionally these come as in mahogany, but okay. uh, the alder's a little bit lighter, and um, I think it gives you a little bit more flexibility tonally, especially you know when you take the ambers into consideration. You can kind of, again, you can kind of do a little bit of everything with this. this the cleans are great, the splits are great, it's all good. And our bridge on this is proprietary. We designed it just for this, just for these instruments. Um, everything locks in place, so when you're changing strings, like you know, you don't have to worry about your tailpiece, like you know, falling under the couch or oh, anything nice. like that. Oh, nice. That's and, that's useful. <laughs> yeah, and all the saddles get locked in place too, so your intonation doesn't move. You don't have to worry about anything. It's so nice. So, oh, and also you got you guys got the zero fret, which yeah. is pretty unusual. Zero it, fret is pretty cool. It uh, it serves a couple of different functions. Uh, Basically, it allows your open strings to sound exactly like your fretted strings, which is kind of a nice side benefit. But what we really use it for is to set the action. Our nut is actually, you can see, it's kind of cut kind of deep. You don't have to rely on the nut to do your, uh, your string height. So we use the zero fret because it's a lot more accurate. And because the necks never move, you don't, you know, it's good to go. You know when it's going to be 100% of the time. And you'll see if you can get in close here too, it's actually cut a little wide because the zero frets do wear. So. It's kind of like the only expense really with the instrument. When you're zero fret wearers, you call me up and you get another one from France for like 20 bucks or something like that. And you can do it yourself. It pops right in and out with a guitar pick. And you know, it's better than getting a setup three times a year, I think. No doubt. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what does this one run for? Uh, we just had a price change. The GV Rock comes in, I want to say it's it's about $3,400. 34. Yeah, something awesome. like that. The GV Metal is about uh, a little bit less, it's about $26.99. And the GV Wood is about $40.99. Yeah, the GV Wood is the exact same guitar with a, uh, a phenolic fretboard, which is really slick. It, uh, it's, it basically gives you all the tonal benefits of ebony, but there's no maintenance or care. Like, you just wipe it off with like a, you know, that's, dish towel. And that's pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And it adds a little bit extra rigidity to the neck, uh, which helps. You know, every little bit helps. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah, that's cool. what's up. Well, thanks so much. Sure. Looking forward to uh, checking some of these out. Yeah, dude. Let's, yeah. Uh, let's rock a little bit. Let's so, do it. Cool. Hey, I'm Tom Monda from Thank You Scientist with Vigier Guitars, and uh, we're here to demo the brand new Vigier Excalibur with Active Passive uh, Boost Switch. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, man, this is a cool guitar. It's a hum, single hum, um, passive pickups, but what's neat about what Patrice did in this one, it's got this active boost switch, which so, you know, works with 9 volt in the back, and it gives you a nice, clean, transparent boost. So I'll play a little bit with, uh, just without the boost switch on. Then I'll pop it on so you guys can hear it. So this is without the boost. pedal in your chain, right? Whenever you play live, you feel like you need to get over the band a little bit more, you know? Yeah. Patrice put it right in the guitar, so it's a... It's a nice transparent way of doing it, total, too. Yeah, totally, totally transparent, you know, beautiful, nice and crisp, it's not overly saturated. Uh, and the pickup combinations on this thing sound rad, you know? You get a lot of spank.
In that position. Yeah. So that, in a nutshell, just a little noodling on the new Vigier, but totally rad. Totally awesome. loving it. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for playing yeah. for us, man. Yeah, Sounds yeah, great. Anytime. Vigier Guitars, Nam 2014. Thanks for checking the video.